here and ask you some questions on camera. Would that be all right? Sure, yeah, sure. Cool. So, what was your name, sir? My name is Valerie Morse. Okay, and what was your role here today? What organisation are you part of? I'm part of Auckland Peace Action. Wow. Okay. Cool. So, what are you guys doing here today? Well, the purpose of all of this is to stop this weapons expo from happening. So, we are aiming to delay the delegates, disrupt the delegates as much as possible. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, how we many? Use, we use non-violent direct action, so we just get in the way, essentially, of, of people caring about the business of war. Mm -hmm. And so, when people are yelling abuse at you, like they have been going past and everything, what do you kind of want to say back to them about, you know, getting the message about why you're really here and what your ultimate goal is today? I guess what I'd say is that it, it no doubt is frustrating for local people to encounter you know, traffic jams and um, things like that. But what we would say is overwhelmingly, we don't think the people of Palmerston North want an event that um, businesses that profit from war mm -hmm. come and meet here in their, in their city. Mm -hmm. And I think, oh, you know, it's the people around the world that are suffering from war um, are suffering experiences that are just beyond our imagination. So a little bit of delay on the streets of Palmerston North, we would like to think, is in the service of ending war and ending the suffering and killing of people all around the world. Yeah, absolutely. How much effort and you know preparation would you say everyone's put into today and, and tomorrow? I'm so sorry. Um, I think the, the amount of preparation varies quite a lot. Um, you know, this is a campaign that we've had going for the last three or four years. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not something that we, we just decided to do last week at the same time. There are people that have come from all around the country to support the effort. Obviously there's going to be a big peace march. Mm -hmm. It's coming down here shortly um, with church people, the refugee community, um, people from all walks of life here in Bombas and North and from around the country. Old folks, young folks. So people really wanting to support this way in whatever whatever way they feel comfortable. This is what we wanted to do. We wanted to take nonviolent direct action. We think that this is in the spirit of you know the civil rights movement of, of people like Tohu and Tafiti. Um, it, we have a long tradition in the peace movement in this country, so this is part of that. Absolutely. And so, how are you feeling right now? Are you feeling quite empowered, liberated? I mean, how are you you know particularly feeling when this is all going down? Uh, I'm really, I'm really uh, uh, pleased and amazed and super stoked for the day. Yeah, okay, cool. yeah. At the moment, I'm, I'm also real tired. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, I, I suppose the thing is, is that none of this is very easy. This is not very comfortable, you know. Um, it's not comfortable for any of us that are that are doing this. It's not comfortable to be locked onto a bus. But. Um, but I'd say that the level of discomfort we have is infinitesimal compared to the level of discomfort, the level of horror that people are suffering overseas. So if we can suffer a little bit of discomfort in, in the service of trying to stop that, but then that's all. So success today would look like, you know, you being able to shut this down and then not being able to hold the forum here any longer. I think, I think success, I think we've already been successful. Like the, the purpose is uh, delay, disrupt, and, and ultimately, you know, aiming to, to, to keep the delegates out of as many as, as, as we can. Like for us, this is going to the source and saying, actually, we're not prepared to stand by while you guys are going into this uh, essentially meeting, this networking meeting for weapons dealers. So we're going to get in your way and we're going to try to cause uh, economic um, loss and, and to make this not a a good idea for you economically Absolutely. to engage in this. Absolutely. So that's what we want to say is profiting from war is not okay. Profiting from war is totally and completely morally reprehensible. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 the message, you know, and people who profit from it will continue to be the targets of this kind of action. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, today. Thank you. So it kind of leads me to think what's going to occur throughout the day. Um, but I, I must say, I really admire these people. You know, they are literally putting themselves on the road in front of vehicles to stand up for what they believe in. And regardless of whether we agree or not, I think that's damn, you know, something to be damn proud of as Kiwis. Sweet guys, do you want me to keep filming?